welcome to part 3 video of important guidelines for preconception by the way if you haven't watched part 1 and part 2 please do watch it hello everyone this is dr chandraleka garbha samskara coach and founder of matra devo bhava in this video let us learn another five important guidelines for preconception the 11th important guidelines for preconception is review of medical surgical and psychiatric histories in your preconception period it is important to know about your Uh, chronic disorders in prior such as diabetes hypertension thyroid diseases or uh, any kind of psychiatric illness etc so to know this you have to undergo screening screening may be appropriate for patients with age greater than 30 years morbid obesity infertility preterm birth or any other issues major medical conditions that affect pregnancy are gestational diabetes gestational hypertension uncontrolled hypothyroidism or any other severe conditions so it is very essential to undergo screening and pre pregnancy counseling so that we can prevent all unnecessary complications in your pregnancy the 12th important guidelines is be away from teratogens of environmental and occupational exposure so teratogens are those substances which can affect your baby in the womb it can affect the genetic makeup and also the physical and physiological functioning of your baby so to prevent such complications be away from those kind of teratogens such as it could be pollutants heavy metals or uh, some kind of organic solvents or phenols or uh, any kind of substances which can affect your baby 13th important guidelines is for individuals with hiv so people those who are hiv positive should consider for artificial insemination to achieve pregnancy if they are planning for pregnancy and it is essential for couple with hiv to undergo pre pregnancy counseling before they attempt for pregnancy pre pregnancy counseling includes a detailed discussion of interventions to reduce the risk of perinatal transmission ways to optimize long term health and the possible effect of antiretroviral medications on the fetus 14th important guidelines is mark your pregnancy date seek medical care before you attempt for pregnancy or as soon as you become pregnant because marking your last menstrual period will make a lot of difference because it will help you to estimate the correct gestational age and also to estimate proper edd 15th important guidelines is family planning and pregnancy spacing family planning provides many benefits to you your baby your husband and also your family it also helps you to regain your health after delivery uh, it is advised to take at least 1 to 2 years of gap between your first child and the second child so that you can also focus on your health and also on your personal growth and career hope you have understood about important guidelines for preconception in detail now let us recollect all the five important guidelines that we have discussed in this video 11th review of medical surgical and psychiatric histories 12th be away from teratogens of environmental and occupational exposure 13th for individuals with hiv 14th mark your pregnancy date 15th family planning and pregnancy spacing if you like the content please hit the like button and share with your friends and family those who are planning for pregnancy and also write your doubts in comment section i'll be happy to answer all of them and join my facebook group to get more updates on garbha samskara and preconception and subscribe to my channel dr chandraleka ms thank you